What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Last night I tweeted I sleep. What recent news, topics, tweets, videos you want me to talk about tomorrow? Popular YouTuber Jacksepticeye and Mr. Beast got into a kerfuffle on Twitter. We're gonna talk about that. Starfield just dropped and this guy is Big Baby Rage Mad because there are pronouns in the game. The reviews for the One Piece Netflix live adaptation has finally dropped and it appears to be a banger. And apparently EDP445 got caught yet again allegedly trying to meet up with a minor. All of that and more. So yeah, guys, if you've been enjoying the series, do me a favor, okay? Just hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer, you've watched at least two or three of my videos, that would be awesome. If you're already a subscriber, go ahead and drop the like button and you know the drill, okay? Sit back, relax put your feet up and yeah allow me to lay it on you so guys popular youtuber mr beast and popular let's play gamer jack septic eye the epic battle of all centuries happened this weekend it was a civil war an all-out war and it was going to be so juicy the juiciest of beefs until they uh, squashed it and settled it like normal human beings. But there was beef, and we will talk about it. My guy Hounder64 said, Apparently people are up in arms about Jacksepticeye's comment on Mr. Beast and how he believed that he, Mr. Beast, ruined YouTube. Stay safe in these streets, Omni. I will. I'll do my best. This is Jacksepticeye. He's one of the OGs, one of the veterans, one of YouTube's golden boys. He's basically PewDiePie, but Irish. This is Mr. Beast. I don't think he really needs an introduction. He's the biggest YouTuber in the world. But apparently, according to Jacksepticeye, he is also the person who is ruining YouTube. <laughs> now, Jack, a completely unrelated question. <laughs> do you like Mr. Beast? No. <laughs> Jack. Oh! Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. God. <laughs> Dang, that's wild. I, my boy, I think this is Jack Manifold kind of showing my uh, like feelings of like, ouch, because these two are like goats of YouTube. Jacksepticeye being one of the biggest pioneers when it comes to Let's Plays and, and Mr. Beast just being one of the pioneers just in general. So to, to just kind of just randomly just find out that he just doesn't like Mr. Beast. Like the question says, do you like Mr. Beast? He just said, no, like <laughs> you don't like Jimmy? Like just, you just don't even like him or? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, did he do something to you? No, honestly, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. You just don't think you have fun playing squid games? You don't think you have fun riding on yachts? If he Building had, wells if, in Africa? I don't know. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Oh. Ooh. So his, his, his argument here is that Mr. Beast is just doing it for the algorithm. He's just appeasing the YouTube algorithm and uh, he's not really actually having fun. Just, you know, creating an empire and business as usual is what Jetsepticeye is saying here. He, Jetsepticeye seems like he might have had this conversation like in the past or many times. He, he does not. He don't like Mr. Beast, okay? Even though they might have squashed the beef, I mean, it still seemed like he came from a place of authentically just not liking. Ooh. I thought you were going to get me yeah. that one, didn't you? Who's the YouTuber you hate the most? I don't know. There's a lot of groomers and pedophiles on our platform. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of which we'll be talking about today. Anyway, guys, after this video got posted, there was an all-out war. That's right. You had people who were like, yeah, I agree with Jacksepticeye. I stand with Jacksepticeye. Mr. Beast has ruined everything. <laughs> And you have the other side who's like pro Mr. Beast and being like, Jacksepticeye, what's wrong with you? Why are you being such a freaking hater, dog? This then summoned the Beast himself to come to Twitter and to reply. He said, so, with, with three O's. So, you, you know it's about to go down. I ruined YouTube because I didn't buy a mansion and sports cars and instead reinvested my money into making content slash focused on doing good and inspiring kids to help people? Question mark? <laughs> Dang, is that is that what um, Jacksepticeye? Jacksepticeye bought a mansion and a sports car? Okay, I see what you're doing with that with that Five Nights at Freddy money. Quote, if you had fun, the videos would be longer, end quote. What does that even mean? <laughs> LOL. You think I'd give up every hour of my life for 14 years if I didn't have fun? fun question mark skull emoji this clip is insanely disrespectful in my opinion and obviously there is so much i could say about his content but i'll just take the punches and be the bigger man 
sigh. Oh man, you you, you made Mr. B sad, Jetsepticeye. Why why why'd you go and do that? Obviously, I'm sure Jetsepticeye and both Mr. Beasts have more context and nuance when it comes to their feelings about each other, specifically Mr. Beast's feelings about being on YouTube. So not a lot can be summed up in both that clip and in this tweet, but it definitely shows that there is a huge divide between these two people. Somebody had made a comparison showing these two tweets recently, one being from Mr. Beast, where he said, in order to upload weekly videos later. Later this year, I've been filming every single day and only have a couple days off filming between now and the end of year, and I am dying mentally. I hope you guys love these videos when they go up. I'm pushing myself to the max to get them done. Crying emoji. And which Jack Septa guys over here saying, I've been doing this for close to 11 years, and I still get super giddy and excited by new games all the time. I love video games. Now at this point, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the audience, you now have to pick a side, okay? I don't care if the beef is squashed, okay? I'll tell you how the beef got squashed, but at this point in time, you have to choose a side because that's what's what happening on the internet. You were either Team Mr. Beast, okay? <laughs> team Iron Man, or you're Team Jacksepticeye, okay? Team Captain America, okay? That's what was occurring because both people, I guess, were dry and create points about why each other's points were either right or wrong, and then, yeah. Emperor Lemon tweeting, since when are we acting like 99.9% .9 of the Let's Play genre isn't just low effort dog shit for money? <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Jack, but top level YouTubers have been profit driven since Ray William Johnson 13 years ago. To blame Mr. Beast for corporizing YouTube is idiotic. This one had 12 million views. This person said Mr. Beast acting like he's not profiting off this stuff will never not piss me off. The, the, the whole concept that Mr. Beast is kind of just doing all of this for everyone else without profiting, which we we all know, right? Like <laughs> when when people who are rich are like, yeah, for the kids and for the crew and for the people. And it's like, yeah, also you are stacking your wallet. That's a, a very, very nice side effect of, of, of helping everybody. I brought this up many times. I don't really care that Mr. Beast gets rich because he gives so much of his money away that I'm just like, all right, cool. If if someone's going to get rich and they're going to give a lot of their money away to other people, then, th then let them get rich. Okay. I'm cool with it. Last tweet I'll show you. This one was making his rounds. It said he's kind of right though, to be honest. Well, I think Mr. Beast does good things. Things. I also think he has a major hero complex and does it for views. Like for F6, look at this thumbnail. This is the, the controversial 1,000 blind people see for the first time where <laughs> Jimmy sit here with the biggest cheese and grin while this kid is like got the, the fake tears, got the hand on the shoulder he can see for the first time. Like the, a lot of people were calling Jimmy the freaking <laughs> Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh god man it, it's it's absolutely hilarious how far people will go to demonize someone who's actually trying to change other people's lives for the better right even if you don't you know mad at him because he's getting rich and all of that like he's he's literally putting time and energy to go out there and give money to other people and literally just change their lives anyway guys in less than 24 hours unfortunately mr beast said hey we message we're gucci now smiley face with a bunch of hearts and uh and then i think you know freaking jacksepticeye replied and was like thumbs up or something apparently these people handle the situation and the dms like you know like adults uh, unfortunately not like just big baby rage you know mad you know content creators i can't believe it <laughs> why i of course was instigating saying nah keep fighting i want the content okay this was i think it was saturday or sunday when this happened i was like no i i, I want the fight extend this hey, i want to put y'all on my thumbnail and it says all out war for as long as possible okay i want the beef i want the juice fight Okay, because you know what, Jacepticeye, you don't like Mr. Beast. Okay, that, that didn't just change magically overnight over the conversation, okay? Speak with your chest, all right? Tell us how you really feel. And Jimmy, I know you're not gonna just let that slide, okay? He disrespected you. That was clear disrespect, and you are the GOAT, okay? Put your foot down, bro. You Mr. Beast, okay? You you allowed to swing that thing around, okay? <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's the Jack Septa guy and the Mr. Beast beef. Jack's opinion of, of Mr. Beast that he doesn't like his content because he's he's focused on creating like the best kind of video that optimizes the SEO. I, I feel like it's kind of just I think it's whack. 
I'm gonna be completely honest, it's whack. And you can have the opinion if you want, but like YouTube is designed in a way to create videos the way that you want to, okay? Whether you wanna optimize for the content or make a five second short, or maybe you wanna do a let's play on Five Nights at Freddy, whatever type of content, the whole point is that it's called YouTube. So whatever way you have fun making content on YouTube is what you should do or figure out the way to optimize like watch retention or optimize viewer audience experience. Like figuring out the way to optimize the viewer experience, that's fun for Mr. Beats. He, he enjoys it very, very much making videos that perform very well on this platform as if YouTube was a game in itself. I don't think we should knock him or hate him for that. I feel like that's, you know, everyone has their own gig and then to, to, to not respect everyone having their own reason to enjoy why they make YouTube or why they make videos on the platform, especially as a YouTuber has been doing it for so long. Makes me feel like it's just a little bit short-sighted in terms of uh, how he was looking at the situation. Tell you what, I'll hit up Jack and I'll hit up Mr. Beast and I'll ask them if they want to do a little, a little, you know, tit for tat, a little, little talk here on the channel where they both just talk about their feelings and how they squash the beef. How about that? I'll get a nice little exclusive interview with these two talking about how they uh, made amends. So guys, Starfield just dropped and apparently the scores have been absolutely immaculate. Starfield is a game where you can go out and fly in space and do things. You know, the, the same old classic thing is for the Xbox and apparently it's a W, which is a rare W when it comes to Xbox. Uh, one of the first IPs for Bethesda games in a really long time. I think it's Bethesda something studio maybe and uh, charles again said there was a man who went big baby rage over pronouns in starfield that's right starfield must have an option i haven't played it yet where you can choose your pronoun whether it's he him she her they them you can choose it and this guy was completely pissed off let's let's watch the clip shall we i just want to say something to you Bethesda. just want to say a little little something there is nothing i love more by the way, I just wanted to say, like, I'm I'm not surprised by like <laughs> you, you know what I'm thinking. I'm I'm already not surprised. <laughs> Bethesda, there is nothing I love more than to 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 sit down, comfy chair, turn on my PC, fire up a brand new RPG, mm. uh, uh, lose myself, think, oh my God, just think of this world. Just think of all the planets I can visit, all the immersive things that I can get involved with, all the yeah. fights, all the relationships, all the people I meet, all the places I go. I'm so excited to go there. And you know, I love nothing more than with all of that laid out in front of me. I love nothing more than to be dragged out at every conceivable opportunity so you can current day us <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god bro this man got some anger issues good lord this man just exploded bro are you okay sorry did you want to get immersed in our world yeah well guess what <laughs> pronouns <laughs> gender ambiguity current day californian Cause that's all we f know. Cause we're boring. We're so f***ing boring. We can't see past our own f reflection. That's the level of our narcissism here at Bethesda Western Game Company. Pure immersion. F you having a good time? you falling into a world and just getting lost no 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 current f day <laughs> off you're boring you're f dull you <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused, dog. This man is so triggered, dog. Like, he's so triggered, right? Like, you, imagine playing this game and it's a 10 out of 10, right? Like, oh my God, I'm, I'm enjoying this is This is the best, dog. But that's the, y'all are the kings. Y'all are the goats. This is this is just godlike. And then suddenly somebody character, and they're, by the way, what are your pronouns? Are, are you he, him? You're like, ah! <laughs> This game is now boring and dull and I hate it. Like, <laughs> why, hey, bro? <laughs> you know what it is, too? I, 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 would I, I mean, obviously, in my opinion, this is probably just fake outrage for content. I'm, I'm assuming this guy probably has this kind of explosive behavior all the time and is a part of the shtick to pander to a specific type of audience. But even if it was real, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point when, when you just encounter something that you don't like, why does it like, why does it drive people crazy? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not just like, oh, well, I don't really like that. Um, 
but yeah, I'm just going to keep playing the game and ignore it because it's not the center vocal point of the game at all, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not taken away from it at all. Imagine playing Pokemon and Professor Oak says, are you a boy or are you a girl? And then that's it. You never play Pokemon because Professor Oak asked you the forbidden question that suggested that there was only two genders. Like, <laughs> you have nothing to say. You are a one hived mind twat waffle. Ooh, twat waffle. That's all you are. Twat waffle. And you wonder why people are getting so sick. And tired. You take everything we love, all our immersions, all our fantasies, all our escapism, and you just can't help shovel your dumb crap ideology into everything, every single solitary thing. I don't know if you guys have ever played a game called Final Fantasy, one of the most famous RPGs of all time, specifically Final Fantasy VII. The entire concept of keep politics out of our game, and yet, welcome to the world of Final Fantasy, where the entire plot is about politics, anti-government, anti-capitalism, and how they're destroying the world, and how a team of rebellions are gathering together to destroy that force, uh, suggesting that the only way to change the world is to destroy the people who are running it. Politics literally in almost every game that I can think of, in his own shape, way or form but this guy is getting triggered over the, the the pronouns i suppose anything else anything else big boy now we get back to playing the game right yep we get back to playing the game <laughs> Anyway, the guy's name is Heel versus Babyface, so we were kind of right on the whole Big Baby Rage Mad thing. This was kind of like right on point. Pop culture commentator, podcast co-host, PS detector extraordinaire, breaking the news and satire. And uh, this clip had 11 million views and had the entire internet just basically, you know, again, dividing people into, uh, dude, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? It's just pronouns, play the game, okay? And uh, he's right. Why are they shoving these pronouns in our face all the time? This person said, local caveman sees customization option and game and lets out his primal rage at camera. <laughs> I think this was one of my favorite ones. If you think pronouns are confusing, wait until you find out about <gasps> verbs. Oh, <laughs> it's just like, like, dog, oh, man, it's, it's not even that serious, bro. It, it's not like, it's just not that serious. In my opinion, the, the, the real politics at play here has nothing to do with Starfield, but how people use these things in order to force their own political feelings. That's that, that's what it is. They're their own agendas of making money and having this fake strong outrage in order to appease and pander a group of people who have actual true outrage towards specific group of people that's what i think is the true politics at play he's he's playing all y'all okay this man is playing his own starfield <laughs> man guys that's the starfield dude getting big baby rage mad on camera let me know how you guys feel about it i just i truly don't get why people actually care that much right like when i see something that i don't really like too much i literally just keep it moving i'm like uh okay that's kind of weird but then i just keep going on about my life it, that's it that's literally just a blip in my radar i don't quite get why people outside of their own personal agenda to pander to the groups and capitalize and profit off the, their own political commentary that gets created from it which is the whole point um yeah it doesn't feel very authentic to me so guys edp 445 is back at it yet again i know you've probably watched my content long enough for me to hear and say that line and we always say well this seems like it appears to be the end of edp 445 this appears to be the end of EDP 445, but it's never the freaking end, and I don't quite get it because he is infamously known for trying to touch and talk to minors. He's a nasty freaking human being that you would think would just would have vanished off the planet, off the earth, off the internet, but no. He just continues to try to come back. Blank thrice. A lot of you guys wanted to talk about it, but instead, I mean, you already saw it, but EDP got caught trying to meet minors again by Skeeter Jean and Jadeon. Skeeter Jean being a uh, content creator, I think maybe from TikTok or maybe Instagram somewhere, but he, I've seen a video where Skeeter Jean has uh, been finding like creeps, basically sting operations where they pose as the victims and then this, they expose these people on camera for the creeps that they are. And Jadeon being kind of like, you know, internet's like funny guy, comedian dude who usually does skits as round, but this doesn't seem like it's a skit. I mean, it's a skit around something that appears to be actually real. A lot happened on this image, so in case you don't know this is uh Gideon right here on the right which i believe he is dressed as a cupcake a reference to uh 
the first time they caught freaking in the middle edp 445 uh for trying to meet up with a kid and his excuse was that he drove all the way out here to come get some cupcakes and i think this guy here is skeeter gene i think i recognize the beard but uh so many questions right like where is <laughs> where is his arm <laughs> EDP 445, where's your arm, dog? So you guys know it's not CGI. Oh, it's just tucked in there. <laughs> why is he just, just like, why is he giving this look, right? This is when you are caught being a, 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 a freaking sleaze bag nonstop, and you're looking at somebody like, Bro, why are you out here trying to interrupt my game? Keemstar and the guys at Drama Alert have been covering this situation in grave detail, saying here, EDP445 is mad, apparently finding his actual Twitter where he said, we live in a day and age where little skank hoes can go around here purposely trying to set dudes up. Get a life and get the F off the internet. This was literally September 3rd, <laughs> 3.54 PM. That's yesterday. And he's talking about children quite literally underage minors and children he's angry at them oh god someone someone please someone 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 please this man literally just made an apology video that we all knew was cap and then he just came out here and said yo can y'all stop <laughs> stopping me from trying to touch little kids like that's I, what are you supposed to do at this point, ADP45? What do you want us to do? Do you, do you want us to just like, ah, sorry, bro, go ahead and just let you keep doing... What is wrong with you, man? What I understand about the situation, Jadeon actually got this footage from EDP 445 about a year ago, and he's just been holding on to it, not doing anything with it, because I think it would have messed up with the actual legal process of him actually, you know, potentially going to jail and court. Kind of maybe similar to what happened to the first time they caught him in the sting operation. And this girl right here, she talked about her actual experience with EDP 445 in detail in terms of how he was DMing her and saying all oh, the most disgusting things sending her like terrible pictures of himself like jesus christ that, that that sounds actually freaking just disgusting and apparently confirming that he has a lot of cp on his phone this girl came out with her entire full story of his of her basically conversation with him and this creep who was basically preying on her it's it's it, i can't play it here because it would get ejecto cito cuzzled off of youtube but it's absolutely disgusting so the reason i'm here today i could talk about it because the victim went public. So what happened was mm -hmm. when EDP joined my discord, when he was about to do the interview with us, he didn't join, but he found a girl in my discord, right? And in her discord, she has her Instagram. So EDP being the Rizzler that he is, he slides into her DMs and he initiates contact with her. Now, the thing about this one is this wasn't it. I'm, I'm sad to report no, actually, I'm I'm happy slash sad to report, but he slid in an actual 15 year old's DMs. Like, no joke. The girl is legit 15 years old and he slid in her DMs. So that's why this situation is so much more delicate than everything else, right? So that's absolutely freaking disgusting that Man is just quite literally the literal definition of a predator. So guys, that's the EDP 445 uh, situation in a nutshell again. It's just, it's it's disgusting that this guy constantly comes back to these streets to do the absolute same thing again. And I just kind of just want to see this man behind bars, man. He's, it's not one of those things where he, he he's, he's not safe to be around. He's a predator. He won't stop. He can't stop. It's just something that he, it scares me too, because these are just like two or three times that we've kind of like caught him, but we have no idea if he's actually had any kind of like successful attempts. Like that's, that's the most disgusting. This is not his first or second or third radio. This is just the ones where he got exposed for it. So this man is definitely a menace to society. And I, I, I need freaking justice. <laughs> we need freaking justice for this because it's, it's, it's abhorrent that this is something that he gets caught for multiple times. Apparently it was three times, not even two times. It's, it's disgusting. It's filthy. 
and I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I don't want this saga to continue. But guys, we have to talk about freaking peak. It finally happened. We broke the freaking curse when it came to Netflix live anime adaptations. They've all been like, you know, not so bueno. Some very horrible in the past. Just garbage doo-doo butter from Mungly for the most part. It's never following actual script. Terrible acting. Whatever. It's always been something wrong when it came to, to, to any kind of anime adaptation. They never have been able to connect the dots until finally now the one piece is freaking real alfredo perez said the success of the one piece live action breaking records and dethroning wednesday and stranger things as number one in 84 countries at the same time let's push for a second season guys that is absolutely freaking ginormous for them to have defeated both Wednesday and Stranger Things. One Piece has quite literally become the king of the pirates, the freaking king of Netflix when it comes to content. Not even just like successful like franchise for anime adaptation. You did okay, bro. You, you got some good reviews. And No, it's literally breaking records and becoming the number one viewed thing on the platform. Picture here is showing that One Piece has an 85% on the average tomato meter and a 90% average audience score. Top TV shows online right now, you got One Piece with a 100 plus engagement score. It's just like a W for One Piece fans. And me being one of the biggest One Piece fans out there, I could not be happier. I, uh, I watched it and I'll just let you guys know how I feel about it without spoilers. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you. But I'll let you guys know I've watched the majority of it. I think I have just a couple of episodes left, but in my opinion, they nailed it with the casting. That's it. <laughs> they were able to grab Luffy, one of the best Luffy's, and just bring him to life. And I'm just like, this guy is it. He's the one. This is it. He's the chosen one. It's like when they chose Daniel Radcliffe for Harry Potter. Choosing this guy for, for Luffy was literally perfect. The settings and the environment is absolutely beautiful. The music is beautiful. The lighting is absolutely godlike. The They follow the scripts very well. There's not a lot of disrespect to Oda. Oda being the uh, person who created uh, One Piece. He was involved in this as well. So you can see that, yeah, when you bring in the actual person who made the anime along with the anime itself and you work closely with his ambitions, you can make things work very well. To me, it feels like it does a good job at grabbing the people who don't watch anime and specifically the people who don't watch One Piece and combine it with the people who do watch anime, us weebs and us degenerates, and bringing it together in this little middle ground where everyone's kind of happy. The, these guys are now going to start gravitating towards anime and we're going to start gravitating towards like, wow, this is how it is. And when it gets normalized to the, the normies of society, they did a good job at paying homage to it. Not only that, but I feel like the pacing of the show is really well. Like each scene seems to be kind of like vital, important. You always get some kind of like you know flashback from the past some kind of reference to the anime something about it where it carefully seems like it's curated purposely to always be deliberate it, it, it feels good watching it because you don't really lose track of the show you don't get bored well at least i did and i'm here for it hope these guys become the freaking next like harry potters we, we watch these guys grow i don't know how they're going to actually finish this right because one piece is like <laughs> a billion episodes they're going to have to skip all the filler and a, a bunch of other arcs how are they going to introduce chopper right or freaking like brooke <laughs> I don't know, but I believe in them because now that I've seen this, I don't care. I, I, I have complete and utter faith in Oda and Netflix for, for doing this properly. They finally did it right. That doesn't mean that they're going to do it right for the rest of the animes going forward. But now that they finally have a good flow chart, a pipeline, a standard industry of how it should look, I think people are going to give a lot more effort into these Netflix, anim Netflix anime adaptations. So guys, no ad for the day, but special shout outs to all of you guys who've been supporting me on Patreon. We just hit 100 members on patreon patreon.com slash and i want to say thank you guys for supporting me on here if you guys don't know i have a patreon where i show you guys countless pictures of indie behind the scenes footage i super for work type stuff that gets copyright striked or removed here on youtube and i also have the omniverse so i basically help you guys get your money right because i'm a certified public accountant and i'm pretty into finance as well and i can help you guys starting with investing or paying off debt all that other jazz fitness you know help you guys i'm a i'm a, I'm a freaking gym rat so i can help you guys there and youtube it's been great i've been helping 
so many people out, helping people create YouTube channels and content creations and questions about all of that, and also trying to get their body right, diets and fitness and programs and losing and gaining weight and also making money and investing has been a blast. It's a way for me to give back while you guys also support me in the process. So if you guys don't mind, come over to patreon.com and uh, yeah, come join the crew. I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of the year. And if we can do that, I'm thinking about bringing the Omni podcast here. I think that's what I want to make as the goal and mwah, do it for him. Do it for the boy. That's right. Here's Indy, my son. And you get infinite amounts of him on the Patreon at the very least if you guys, uh, you know, support me. So, yeah. <laughs> but all right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. There's more topics that you guys want me to talk about that we will do in tomorrow's video, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Okay, that's the time that I'm trying to upload almost every day, at least Monday through Friday for you guys on the weekdays. So, stay tuned. There is more to come. <laughs> a lot happened over this weekend, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot happening more today, and I will keep you guys posted as well. The only reason why I'm separating it out is just so I can go into a little bit more detail when it comes to the content going forward, as opposed to kind of just slowly brush rushing it over for you guys and to give you guys more consistent content on a daily basis so you can have something while you're you know out there running or eating in the background for you guys to listen to again if you haven't already subscribed to the channel it would be you know pretty helpful i'm trying to you know make some goals and like the video if you did enjoy it and i'll catch you guys tomorrow uh <laughs> stay safe on the streets the streets ain't safe and uh, i love y'all y'all take it easy and uh yeah peace